I look like a different person. And I don't know who she is, but I like her. Oh, you know what? I've missed this. My Ariel. Hey guys, so today I have my box of hair. That sounds really strange. I have a box of wigs and hair pieces. We're going to try them on today. I'm going to show you what I've got wigs wise, where I bought it from, price ranges and everything like that. So I've got one human hair and I think I've got a couple of synthetics. I don't know how many synthetic wigs I've got. All from different places, the majority of I think. But I got this one today from Amazon. And I'll put the links down below if I can find them. If not, I'll just put the actual like website and stuff. But I just bought this Amazon one and it came today, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It comes in this little bag like this, and it comes with a little thank you now. And this is a wig. Oh, normally they don't give you these give you these types of wig caps. They come with, oh my God, my hair got stuck in my necklace. They are like this. So that's a very weird wig cap. I've tried it on yet. Um, but it has a little things. It's from Beast. Best done. Best done? I don't know. I'll put a picture of what it looked like online here. So it comes in netting as per usual and they have a, I don't know what it's called, paper inside. So let's get this open and see what she looks like. So wigs shouldn't be brushed with normal brushes. I've got one in here I think. It's literally a brush made for a wig and it's not in here. I've got a wig cap on the floor now. Unless it's up here. Oh, just turn the light off as well. So, <laughs> I don't know why the hell it was up there. Oh my god, everything's falling. So this is what a wig brush looks like. You don't want it to be like a normal hair. Oh, so I've got everything everywhere. You always feel like a normal brush, but it's got too many like stubby things in it. I don't know what to call. But bristles, what you call them. So you just brush it through. I'm gonna brush this for a little bit because it's too like curly. It's too like noodly curly. Quite nice quality to be fair, but it hasn't got a parting in it. Like the black one came with a parting. So I'm gonna get a bobble and just tie my hair back. This is not how I would normally pop them on. I'm just showing you the wigs today. So I'm not laying them on properly or anything like that. I'm literally just putting my hair in a bobble. Look how much my hair's grown, guys. Can you remember when I got it cut and it was like up here? It's grown so much. So Wait to put wigs on. They always say this is the best way. So you tilt your head and I'm just going to put it on. So, oh my god! Normally it comes with a comb in there and it has no comb in this one. I'm going to probably ruin my makeup by doing this as well. Just realised. So I'm putting it on and I'm flipping it. <gasps> oh my god! I'm sorry, but who is she? Oh my god, this, is, this wig's way too big for my ears though. Oh no, it's just the lace. So obviously it comes with lace. You always want to buy a lace front wig. Um, just because it's going to look the most realistic with the hairline. Oh my god, look at that. That needs to be my thumbnail. Look at the wig. Oh my god. <gasps> I think it's my olive skin tone next to the, like the ginger copper copperiness. I wanted to get more of a copper wig rather than a ginger wig. So I was like, um, I feel like... Oh, I need to actually like lay this down. I feel like natural hair colour wigs look more realistic because the black one um, was such good quality. This was, how much this was? I think this was 38. We get loads of hair with it. Look at that. I think this is too curly for my liking. I'm not going to lie. So I can brush through it and stuff. Um, you can straighten these as well. What I always do is I always cut the hair because... You know, my hair's like this length, guys. I don't need this much hair. I always end up cutting it just to where it lands underneath my boob. Because I feel like that's more realistic looking in my eyes, especially on me. So I'll probably cut it about there. You can part it yourself because it comes with a really nice lace front. So I'll probably part it like there. I hope you can see it. So I'd have to like pluck it and put some concealer in it and stuff. Um, but there's loads of videos of that. If you want me to like show you guys how to do it, let me know. But I'm not the best at it. You can see anyways, it goes a little bit thinner at the bottom there. So I'm just going to cut it with some scissors now. And I kind of just eyeball it. So I just like, underneath my boob, you can just see it's getting a bit thinner so it's annoying me. So I'd literally just go... Just like that. So I'm just going to eyeball it again. About there. And 
I'm not really bothered if it's completely un like if it's uneven a little bit either because I can sort it out. I'm gonna thin it out thin it out a little bit more, but the length just looks so much better. Like it looks more realistic now. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut it up in the middle first. So basically, I'm getting hair on the face. Oh my Ariel! Oh my god, yes. Um so I want to make sure the hair's out of the face and I'm just cutting it along the hairline so it's better to cut a little bit off it rather than on it so oh my god I can't do that side I'll have to take it off to do that side so I'll show you what I mean you can see the hair is coming in threaded into it I kind of cut it along that sometimes you'll get some hair coming out but it's fine, you want it to look more realistic. So normally you would put like a wig cap on, I look crazy, a wig cap on before and like colour the um, hairline, put concealer in it and stuff, but we're just trying them on today, like I said. Um, obviously the hairline isn't like really, really, I don't know what I'm looking for, soft, but I think it looks quite cute for a Halloween look for Instagram. The length of it is so much better now. Do you see what I mean? I feel like when it comes to wigs, I always have to cut the length just because I want it to be as realistic looking as possible. I know it's not gonna look like it's growing out my head, but I don't think it looks that bad. I mean, the lace front on this isn't that bad. Obviously you can see a perfect like egg shape. So then I put the wig on just when my hair tied up and this, my hair tied up underneath it and no wig cap. I think that looks quite good. Right, let's snatch her. It's wig number one. So this is the second newest wig I've got, guys. Again, from Amazon. A different seller though. I'll link it in the description box below. I'll put the screenshot here. Again, what it looks like. They have loads of reviews on this. I love Amazon for the reviews. I trust the reviews. As you can see already, yeah, you can see it's got a little parting bit. See, now compared to the last one, this looks absolutely crazy. But I do love dark hair on me. I already cut this one. because I know I literally cut this one. Have you seen how long it is? I think it looks a little bit weird at the moment because I'm wearing a black top with it. I feel like I'd need to wear like a floral top or something. Um, but to be honest with you, this wig looks quite realistic in my opinion. Like, to say it's synthetic, I'm like, oh my God. And with this again, I won't wear a wig cap with it because I've got dark hair underneath, like dark brown hair, so there's like, unless you're wearing a blonde wig, I don't think you need to wear a wig cap kind of thing. You know what, I really want dark hair after having this on. It's on the opposite side of the parting though, because I'm used to having a part on this side. Um, but for Instagram looks, I only got these for Instagram kind of thing, like pictures for Halloween. Um, this one was, I believe it was 33. Uh, 32 99 I think. And again, Amazon Prime, you can get on this. Do you think it looks so nice? My mum says she didn't like me with black hair, but I actually like, dig it. I feel like it just gives the attention to her makeup. It looks really nice. I definitely want to go brunette. Brunette is a colour I want to go. I want to grow my hair out and get clipping extensions, but this, like the hairline is so good. I've not even messed with the hairline whatsoever. I've not put like any concealer in it. And I was like, on the photo, I'll put, you, I put, I'll put a photo of what I did here on Instagram, like a, a lot. But it, I don't think it looks cheap either, which is what I'm like really surprised about. Um, and I watched so many YouTube videos on Amazon wigs, and I was looking at someone and I was like, mm, I can tell they're bad quality, but these two that I've got from Amazon, amazing. I haven't got a short wig yet though from Amazon. But I think definitely the amount of hair you get is good, but at the same time it's a little bit unrealistic because who the hell has hair that thick at the bottom? That's for like an Instagram post. I even I wear this on Halloween. Like I would generally wear this on Halloween. I think I like sorry I couldn't see that. I think I like more straight wigs, but I think because this is a natural colour and I'll put it again. This is a natural colour and the ginger one was a more natural colour. I think it looks more realistic. I just love it. This wig, I would literally give it a 10 out of 10 just because I have cut it, guys. It comes with a perfect parting and it looks so realistic to where they've parted it. Um, it comes with a little bit of body wave in it. So it's not just like 
dead flat to where it looks like a, a really extreme wick. So you can see it's got a little bit of body. I don't know if you can see a little bit of body and it's black, so you can't really see it next to my top. Oh, I just think it looks so pretty. So yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend for a black wig because what I always get really conscious about as well, it was easy to cut the lace as well. What I get really conscious about is having like those little dots like where the the hair's laced in it, if that makes any sense, and you can see the knot the knots in it. That's the word. Right, that is wig number two. Done. The next wig I'm gonna be talking about is this red one from Webster Wigs. I think I paid £70 for it. I'm not too sure, but this is a very, very old wig. I bought it like three years ago. If I can find a picture of what this looks like on the website, I'll put it here. What's she called now? I know she was called Snitchery, but I don't know if she's changed the name now. I think she's called Eleanor, Ellen, Eleanor, Eleanor, I don't know. But she's still big on YouTube now. She was called Snitchery when I was like first following her. She actually tried out one of the Webster wigs I said a discount code for 10% off, so I used that. So I'm just gonna pop this on. Again, I'm not putting a wig cap on with it. Oh, you know what, I've missed this. <gasps> See, this is the parting on the right side. Do you know what works for wigs? If you want a Halloween wig, or like a wig in general, it doesn't have to be for Halloween. But I thought I'd just film this video because it's Halloween. If you want a wig that's got more of a texture to it, more of a, like a style to the wig rather than just straight or curly. This one is is like wavy. Like look how crazy, like this with a clown look. Like I know it's 70 pounds, but I mean, it's worth the money to be honest with you guys. Like the quality of the hair is lovely. Um, it doesn't like come out that much. I did cut it again, but it's more for the individual like styles of the wigs, Webster wigs, the colours of the wigs, um, you literally need to check it out, I'll pop the website in the description box below, um, but this gives me very aerial vibes, very clown vibes, like so so pretty, I need to get a drink of water because my voice is going, Ugh. hydrate, love the texture of the wig, obviously when I brushed it it's made it more poofy but I love the look of it, if you don't brush it, it'll look more like actual waves. But I, I was like, oh no, I need to like brush it out. The hairline's really good on it. It's not as good as the black one. The black wig that came with the hairline was amazing. Honestly, I was like, wow, that is pre-plucked. I plucked this myself a little bit. Again, you're buying this for the style and the colour. Like, look at the red. Like, oh my god. I feel like I'm in Cruella de Vil with this like Dalmatian wall now. Cruella. <laughs> like, look at those waves. Oh, so nice. So yeah, this is what I was looking at up front. This for an Instagram photo would be amazing. I am obsessed with wigs, guys, if you can't tell. Out of 10, I would give this wig um, an eight out of 10, just because I had to pre actual pluck it myself. Um, it does get a bit knotted, obviously, because when you're brushing it out and stuff, because it's synthetic hair. Um, and it is not, as easy to wear as the Amazon wigs and they're cheaper. That's the only downside. Like, I feel, I love wigs because I feel like a different like person. Like, she's gone now, the character's gone. I was thinking, I don't want to get a ginger wig because it'll be similar to that one I just showed you. Look at the differences between them colors. They could be not more, not alike. Like this is wavy and this is curly as well. So this is the difference between like what I mean, like this is wavy and those are like curls, and that sounds absolutely ridiculous to probably say to some people, but you don't know until you actually see them. Like, I like a more wavy look than a curly look. Another colourful wig, and then we'll get onto the blonde wigs, guys. So I've got three blonde wigs. Again, from Webster Wigs, this is a different style. If you can find the photo, I'll put it here. It was, again, I think it was at like five, ten pounds cheap because it's a little bit less, well, a little bit less hair, a lot less hair but I wanted it for the colour and I literally bought it because it was this time. I think I bought it like three years ago now. Maybe four. Four years ago. And again, I cut it myself at the bottom because I wanted it really like, I like a blunt colour at the bottom. Um, I know it's not the most realistic thing, but I wanted it because Kylie had that green, like blue hair and I was like, oh my God, I love that. I need to do that. And I actually used it in a YouTube video ages ago when I did a Kylie versus Kendall makeup look. Um, wasn't the best. 
Um, with this, I kind of like almost ruined it a little bit just because you can straighten these wigs and like tweak them a bit, but this one came ridiculously curls and I actually didn't like the style of it. So I ended up like straightening it myself, but I tried to like curl it in like here, if you can see. Um, it kind of worked, it kind of didn't work. I, li I like how it looked, it looks really cute and stuff. Like, I put a hat on and it looks cute, but I definitely need to sort out the style of it because you can just see I've kept that curl there at front and that curl, but I just, the back. Also with this, I don't know if you can see on camera, I'll just show you if you can see. You can see the tracking of the actual hair a little bit, which I was like a bit disappointed about because on this one you cannot see it whatsoever like there's no tracking whatsoever I don't know if it's just due to the colour of the hair but there's visible like if I go like that you can just see it all hopefully you can see guys if you can't I'm sorry but on this you can see straight away like the wig's like a bit too big for my hair I don't think it's that bad obviously I need to, I need to glue it down and wear a wig cap and stuff um, but I don't know, it's something I just don't love about this one. I think it looks nice and stuff, it looks really pretty, the colour. Like, that's what I mean with Webster wigs. The colour fade is amazing and I actually want to get my own wig. The white wig brush I've got there, I'll show you guys in a minute. And get some synthetic dye and dye it myself. I want to dye it like a nice bubblegum pink colour, see if I can do it. But looking on the, I'm looking on the viewfinders guys, okay? sorry I'm just like looking over here. Um, I like the colour of it. The colour is the best thing about this wig and the length is quite cute but I cut it myself like I said. Um, I just need to style it because I don't know what she's doing but the... I'm not gonna lie that is not the best parting ever is it? So I was a bit disappointed about that. For the price I think it was like 60 or 55 pounds this wig. For the price I'm, I'm gonna give it a 6. Just because the hairline's not amazing, um, which is really disappointing. I think the hairlines on the short wigs are like that's why I never bought another short wig because I was so disappointed. But the style of it was so weird when it came. I was like, it was like weirdly curled and like I can't even explain it to you. It was like spirals, but like only this way. It was so weird. Um, but yeah, that's why I give it a six out of ten because the, the lace front isn't amazing. It's a bit see through at the back. I don't know if you can see what I mean. Like you can just see all the tracking. I don't know. It's not my favourite, but it's it's a nice colour. I'm actually not going to put these on because these take ages to put on, guys. But these are a type of wig, in my opinion. So these are the Lullabelle's ponytails. I'll show you what they look like when you actually get them. But I've got a video on them, specifically on them and how to apply them and stuff. So I'll leave that video in the description box below. If I remember, if I don't, call me out. But in the colour blonde, because I like the kind of caramel colours in it. So, it is really nice. Um, I'll insert a photo of me wearing it here, but again I've got a video on it and you kind of have like a little thing, you just turn it around and then it's a bubble and you're wondering how the hell you get your hair in a bubble up there, Hannah. I've got a video on it. Twenty two pounds each or something? Yeah, £22 each. Um, they're not the best synthetic, I'm not going to lie, but they are an easy, quick alternative so that was a straight one and this is the curl and they've also got like a grande one which is like i think it's called grande where it like flicks off the shoulders and it's a more short ponytail and i love that one so this one came with a netting because it's super curly well it's more wavy than curly to be honest with you guys and the reason why i bought this one is because jordan lipscomb wore it, wore it and i was like oh my god it looks amazing like the curly one and she applied it as well so i was like oh my god she got the color blonde but i'm pretty sure it looks different unless she has a filter on her but it's where it makes it look different. But yeah, like I said, I've got a video on how to apply these and I'll pop these on. And here's a photo of me with it on, if I can find one. If I can't understand it, it's looking awkward. Um, but yeah, I think they range from 22 to 25 pounds. Definitely nice for Instagram looks. If you can master it, like, because I've got really, really short hair, it kind of spikes out at the top and stuff. But if you can master it, then well done. I cannot. I'll show you my human hair wig next. So this is the first and only human hair wig I own. If I can find a picture of it, I will pop it here or here, wherever. This is from VIP Wigs. Again, I bought this because someone recommended me 
to buy it. She got sent it for free, I'm pretty sure. So I was like, oh. I've plucked it, I've, I've toned it, I've cut it. I just don't know what to do with it. It looks quite cute and it has an uh, elastic band in this one. So I'll just put it on really quickly. It will not look realistic because I haven't got a wig cap on though. Just saying. I try to make this look as realistic as possible and in my eyes it doesn't look realistic like this is again I've cut it this is real human hair hair um, and it looks cute to be fair it looks better on camera but this set me back a good I think it was like 250 270 like 200 and something for sure with the discount code as well the hair quality is actually really good I think I haven't bought a human hair wig before so I'm not what they're actually supposed to feel like but I haven't got a wig cap on so don't come for me in the comments I know it's not on properly um, I think the quality of the hair is really nice though especially because I've cut it because it's not scraggly at the bottom cannot stand it when there's always a horrible you don't get like hair just goes into thin bits at the bottom I'm like no just give me a blunt cut let's, let's, let's cut it I think this is it's kind of like weird like the tracking in this I don't think it's the best human hair wig ever there's a lot better human hair wigs um, I've got bleach nuts because obviously it's blonde. This is 613 hair. Um, and I've tried to like master the technique of wearing it and looking realistic, but it's hard, guys. It's really hard. <laughs> oh my god, see, I look like a completely different person when I'm blonde. I think it looks cute, but I'm also like done with the blonde moment. I'm like, <laughs> Give me the brunette. The quality of the hair is really nice. It's just how it's laid on my head. I'm like, no. <laughs> Look at how short my actual hair is. To be fair, let me feel this. It is really good soft hair. It's not, it's not like, it's not bad quality hair at all. It's just the fact that I haven't got it to lay right on me. And then I've got two more wigs. So this one and another one. These are both, again, from Webster Wigs. Every time I wear it, it's like, oh my God, Khaleesi. Like, I don't think that this, this, look, this looks like yellow and then I put it next to this and I'm like, oh. So this is the difference in between, like, real hair and then synthetic hair. You can just see, I think you can tell straight away, but when it comes to photos, you don't need a human hair wig when it comes to just photos. Oh, see ya. No, you don't. So, if I can find a photo of this one, again, there's no wig cap on. You need a wig cap if you're wearing a a blonder wig and you're not blonde. So nice, the hair length is really nice. Again, it comes like to the boo. I think I cut it, I'm not too sure though. But I think it looks so nice. The color is beautiful. I don't really like taking photos in it because I feel like it makes them look orange, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just staring at myself in the mirror the whole entire this video, I've just realized. Love the style of this wig. So it's straight, but it's still got a little bit of body to it. Like it looks like it's been like, it's like, it's like actual hair. And that's what I like, I know that sounds so weird. But like, because there's a bit of body to it and not just straight slick down. And it's got like a part into it and stuff. Like the part on this one is the best Webster Wigs part and they've done. It's only like an inch or two inch, I think. But it's still a lot better and it looks so nice. Like look at the texture of the hair. It goes like this. It's so nice. It makes, makes me look orange. It makes me look orange. Um, I look like I'm, I'm white chicks. Oh, I need a, what is it? I need a white chicks thing. I'm gonna have a BF. What's that? Oh my gosh, she's gonna have a bitch fit. A BF. I love all films. Um, anyway, I just love it. I just think it makes me look orange. That's the only problem. Because if this makes me look orange, I don't wanna know what a white wig does. But I think you can edit this to where it looks white anyways. Like, this is such a like white blonde wig. I would definitely give this an eight out of 10. The only reason why I would give it an eight out of 10 is because the hairline is not that polished. I think it's just because the color obviously on me it looks a bit weird and stuff, but I give it an eight out of 10 just because, just because that's my opinion. Also, the Webster wigs, I haven't mentioned this, also the Webster wigs come with this little pamphlet on how to wear them, um, what how to like style them, caring for your wig, and it comes with wig caps, that's really, really nice. So it actually gives you instructions, so it gives you some sort of help, being like, help, 
you know what? A lot of drag queens, even like RuPaul's drag queens, like drag race. Yeah, I said that right. And um, they wear Webster wigs, so I'm like, mm, that's saying something. He's done so good for a set. So this is the same exact wig. And this one's got roots. Um, and I've plaited it. Can you see that plait there? Plaited it. And I put hair rings through it. So this is an older, that wig. And then this, all the Webster wigs are very old wigs that I bought a very long time ago. So again, it's the same price as the last one. Um, so I'm just gonna whack it on. I did style this myself. I um, I popped the hair braids in it and I did the roots, but the roots, I'll just show you. The roots look gray. They're supposed to be brown, but they turn, turn gray, which is not what we want, but the hairline already looks 10 times better, doesn't it? I don't, I don't know how big you can actually see me because the viewfinder's like this big. I've added these roots with eyeshadow, sorry my boobs are out. I have to deal with it. But look how much better that wig looks. It's the same exact wig as this, except for my middle part in it. Put some plaits in and put some hair rings in it. Like, looks 10 times better. With a tad bit of a rootage. I did put brown eyeshadow on it, it turned grey. Again, I've got no wig cap on, but this looks 10 times better than the other wig I've just put on. Just customising your wigs can make your wigs look 10 times better. Yes, like, I wanna customize my wigs more, but like, obviously, like, you can just see the power. The power that love of eyeshadow and styling can do, and I cannot style for crap. So, if I can do it, you guys can definitely do it. So I'm giving this wig a nine out of 10, not a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for me customizing it and stuff. Um, But obviously I've done that myself. But again, the body of the hair is really nice, like the waves and stuff in it. Um, you can customise it really easily. So I would give it 10 out of 10 what it looks like now. So let's reveal my hair again. The only thing about what I'm wearing wigs is you feel like your hair, even if it's in good condition, your hair feels like it's so thin after wearing all those wigs. Like I feel like my hair is like so thin, even though I know it's not. You know what? I think the most impressive thing the most, my most favourite right now is the black wig, which is really weird because it's like a, not a basic wig, but like, I didn't expect to love this. Reviews on Amazon do not lie, and I always look at the, like the pictures section below where the reviews are, and then literally that's what you need to do when you buy a wig. Don't just buy a wig. Make sure it's lace front as well, please, if you want it to look good. That's just my opinion. People buy the ones that are not. Oh, if you've got a fringe, you don't need a lace front, obviously, but... This is definitely my favourite. These two are from Amazon and the quality. Hope you guys have enjoyed watching this different type of video. If you want me to show you how I actually apply my wigs with a wig cap and glue it down to where it's secure, <laughs> let me know in the comments below. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a lovely day, afternoon, whenever you're watching this. I'm uploading this very late. If I'm not uploading this on Wednesday, I'm very sorry. If it's Thursday, if it's, this is, don't say anything. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and I shall see you guys in the next one on Sunday. Thank you Lord for all you